Hey, what's going on, you overgrown Bulgarian rabid raccoons? Today, message to all the haters out there. Who said Optic can't win SNDs? Huh? Who said it? Was that you? That wasn't. That better have not been you, because we lost one SND to the 15-year-olds. The entire event at Columbus. Yes, a lot of them were pretty close. Yes, we should have beat a lot of teams like 6-2, 6-3. To all you, uh, how do I say this? To all you maniacs out there that say, go over SND, go over SND, newsflash, bitch. We didn't go over SND. We didn't. We didn't do it. We didn't have, we have no strats at all. We got Nate Shot making play calls out here. We got formal sniping fools across the map. We got Seth clutching up. Then you got Crim6 throwing team nades. Team killing, and we still we still doing pretty good. We still doing pretty good. We had no strats whatsoever in S and D. We lost one S and D to the 15 year old screen cheating, daycare mother needs to buy them Call of Duty eating little fruit roll up motherfuckers, dude. We beat those kids um, and everything but S and D. Uh, versus T K, you know, your boy. Your boy's got a cannon of an arm. Used to play baseball. And, uh, yeah, I kind of kind of fucked up versus TK. Pretty bad. But, you know, I'll have a video more about that situation and uh, what actually happened on uh, the uplink throw in case you guys missed it. I, I highly recommend you don't watch it because it is pretty painful. I think uh, I didn't go to sleep that night. Even though we won, I was so, I was so mad that I didn't make that throw. Like, I literally wanted to just hurt myself at that point. When I overthrew the ball, I was like, hmm. what else, what else, what else? CTF can be way better. Um, Uplink can be way, way better. But I think that, uh, you know, was, this tournament... It didn't really. It wasn't really a lot of close matches, I guess you could say, and I think that's primarily because we were actually winning our S and Ds. So that is a good thing. I think that any step towards improvement on our S and D game at tournaments is almost crucial at this point, and you know we really showed it. So you know, thank God, thank God for the let's fucking rush middle play call by Nietzsche because if we lost that map, I'd be saying the exact, or if we lost that round, I'd be saying the exact opposite thing right now. So. Uh, definitely, I've thought about it, and we definitely need to practice uh, S&D some more. But, uh, you know, we clutched up when it mattered. I I played, like, complete dog shit versus TK. Um, but other than that, guys, you know, it was a fun tournament. Got some moonshine in me afterwards. It's kind of a blast. Kind of a blast. Uh, whoa, lighting. I actually was playing at this Columbus, so it's actually kind of funny. I have won every single seasonal playoff that MLG has hosted that I've played in. So right now I'm like three for three, and the other one I was like a caster. I was at the analyst desk, so pretty interesting. Sorry, I just saw a car. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking for Bay right now. My Jetta, my O1 Silver Jetta, sexiest fork. Let me just let me just throw up an image right now. I'm literally doing this as we speak. Look at this beauty. Look at it. Don't look at my face. Look at it. Oh my God. Can't wait to see her. Can't wait to see her and just. I'm gonna go drifting. I'm gonna do like, fucking. I'm gonna two wheel that bitch. I'm gonna literally roll the car. Roll it like this, and then I'm going to make it land back on four wheels and then keep driving. But anyway, this guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. More in-depth yeah. bullshit later. But, uh, but yeah, haven't vlogged in a while. A little bit awful at it. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm out for now.